Hello everyone, Larry Laurentich for Ichimoku.co and ForexTrading.tv with a daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading day ending Tuesday, December 10th, 2013. With change of trend today, candlelets made a lower high and a lower low. Previous day's trading, if you recall, I was suggesting that there was a possibility of this change of trend with the size of the white body reducing dramatically and the rejection from uh, near the major high. The white body and the small white body denoted that the momentum that the buyers had to the upside was uh, decreasing uh, quite rapidly and it did suggest potential for a change of trend and that's what we've seen today. A uh, black body candle and uh, much larger than the previous day's trading but in relation to some of those other candles nearby not that large, quite average as far as the black body candles go but it does suggest that the sellers have made an amount of net momentum between the open and the close and, and an amount of net progress to the downside. The sellers have also closed with control and it does suggest that we may see uh, lower prices. Having said that however uh, if you recall the important 1800 round number that was previous resistance then minor support has now acted as support for today's trading the market has failed to close beyond that barrier so we may see the buyers come back into the market around this area so quite uh, crucial to this market is this 1800 level and the area just below there at the Tenkinsen, the Ichimoku indicator, may act as a support for this market as well. If we do see bearish activity down below there early tomorrow, we could quickly see the market trading down to the Kijun Sen, which is trading around the 1780 level. But uh, we should see very strong support down there, extending down to around the 1775 level, this previous level of uh, resistance and then support. So some solid support uh, below where the market's trading. In terms of the Fibonacci extension, we've traded through the 38.2, or sorry, the 23.6% level in a fairly bearish manner today. The targets that we're looking at are 38.2% and the 50%, which are hovering around that Tenkan Sen, and does suggest that there may be very strong support coming in around this area, extending down to around that 1794 level. And in terms of the Fibonacci retracement, we've traded through the 23.6% level with that as well. And our targets here are the 38.2% and the 50% coincides exactly with the Tenkan Sen. So expecting solid support around the Tenkan Sen. And if we do break that area in a bearish manner, it will be significant. It may suggest lower prices. Now if we do see this trend continue down, we do have a potential head and shoulders pattern set up. Here we have the prior trend and as I always say, it's very, very important that we always have a prior trend leading into the pattern. Here we have congestion with a left shoulder ahead and we may be forming a right shoulder here. So we formed the uh, peak here of the right shoulder and we're looking for the market to come down and close below the neckline here drawn through this area and the close below the neckline would complete the pattern and we would have a target the width of the pattern, the height of the pattern down to the neckline projected down. So we won't look at that yet but uh, the market may not reach that but we do need to watch that over the next uh, trading week or so that there is a possibility. With the strong support below and uh, significantly around the the Kijun Sen here around the 1780 level. I have some doubt whether we will see a close below and remember it's not just a break down below the barrier it's a close below that we're requiring. Now in terms of Ichimoku still a bullish market in all three time frames and this really says something about the strength of this market over the past couple of months that significantly we haven't seen the market trading down below the Kijun Sen for quite some time. We have recently seen the Kijun Sen hold a support and there is a real possibility that we could see that happen again. In terms of the long term time frame we are trading above the cloud but the cloud is coming up to meet the market so whereas we were looking overextended around this area and the depth that we were trading above the cloud here the market is, is beginning to find some equilibrium and is suggesting that if we do hold above these levels uh, for the next couple of weeks we then could see the market continue back on its way to the upside. In terms of the uh, medium term time frame we are trading above the Kijun Sen as I've mentioned but that Kijun Sen is turning, is, has pointed flat and when it points flat price action tends to be attracted back towards it so let's be ready for a potential breakout down below the 89 level and below the Tenkan Sen uh, there is a possibility of that happening. In terms of the Tenkan Sen, the green line we are looking for that area to hold as uh, 
support for this market if we do break below the, uh, the 1800 level but we are still trading above there and suggesting that uh, we have a bullish market in the uh, fast time frame as well as the uh, higher time frames. In terms of the chicka spend that's above the corresponding price action suggesting solid upside momentum in this market. We're not too far away above the price action suggesting that uh, the market isn't looking overextended at the moment and uh, one scenario here obviously is that we see the breakout down below the area around 1800 and then Tenkatsen trading down to around the uh, Kijun Sen around 1780, 1775, this previous level and find support there, we bounce off there. All the other is that we see buyers come into the market around this 1800 level or around the uh, uh, Tenkan Sen. So uh, we do need to wait and watch how the market reacts to these levels and take our uh, trading signals from that queue.